quantum fields, just because maybe not everyone knows what they are. Um, so in a, a typical Hilbert space formulation of a quantum system, we have observables. Observables are these self-adjoint operators. And in a quantum field, we have operators associated with all points in space, right? And if we work in a formulation in which we move the time evolution out of the state vectors and into the observables, we have what's called the Heisenberg picture. And then our field operators depend on space and time. It's a fancy way of saying everywhere in space-time, we've got these sort of local operators that are associated with points in space and time. Um, quantum field theories like QED, we talked about quantum electrodynamics, they presuppose this classical background space-time. There's no gravity. Space-time is usually treated as flat. We call flat ordinary special relativity space-time. We call it Minkowski space-time. You can do quantum field theory in a static curved space-time, still not treating gravity as dynamical, but that gets very complicated. Let's start, start to start with cla class, uh, um, uh, quantum field theories like QED on special relativity, flat, non-dynamical space-time. In that case, you're right. X, Y, Z, the coordinates of where you are, and T do not fluctuate. They are fixed features of the background architecture of space-time. They're the stage on which the action is happening. Your question about the uncertainty principle and about fluctuations of fields is an interesting question. 